How you doing, guys? Contrary to popular belief amongst Jehovah's Witnesses, not everybody that comes into the org from the outside is an unhappy person. They are not all depressed. They are not all drug addicts. They are not criminals. They are not destitute because family members have passed away, because this is something that happens in everybody's family. I look by life before I had become one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and it was a relatively happy one. It was nothing extravagant, but there were some things I always looked forward to doing. I'd have a hang out with the guys or hang out with the ladies, but I always had a smile on my face. I could make a social event out of going to the grocery store or the laundromat, because I would always find somebody I knew. At one time, it took me two and a half hours to get do grocery shopping because I would stop and talk to everybody I saw. I knew a lot of people. Today, I could be in and out in 15 minutes. Very different scenario today. The unfortunate thing, after becoming one of Jehovah's Witnesses, I was still that happy-go-lucky person for some time, even though after the, the organization was making me miserable, on the outside, I was still a relatively happy person. That was until 2010. That year, anything that could happen, did happen. And I got bombarded all at once from every direction. <clears throat> and I had sunk into such a deep depression. Now, I was a JW at the time. And we all know how that works. Well, you need to go out and service more. You need to study the Bible more. Which I did. Did it help? No, not with that. There were certain trade-offs that happened. Now, prior to my becoming a JW, I felt better than I ever had physically. I was working out three hours a day. I felt like a stick of dynamite. Around 2010, that seemed to stop. I started physically slowing down. Aches and pains started popping up that I didn't have before. Certain physical infirmities, which I still have today, but there was something that did happen. There was a trade-off. I started seeing through things. While I was going through this depression, I started seeing through th seeing things that I had never seen before. This is when I started noticing the sky, the chemtrails. I started spotting them, started doing research on them. With that, my eyes started opening with everything. Within the next couple of years, I started seeing through the bullshit teachings of Watchtower. And it didn't end there. Even after I left the organization, I started seeing everything. And I started doing a lot of research. And there is a downside to this. There is certain... You think knowing the truth and seeing through things would make you a happy person? Not at first. There's a certain depression that comes with knowing things that other people don't know. And there was a certain depression I could never shake after that incident in 2010. I could never duplicate that happy person that I was prior to my becoming a witness, even though I've tried. And what happens when you start to wake up? You start to talk to people. Much like I did with Watchtower, trying to wake the witnesses up to what was really going on. After I left, I started trying to wake people up on the outside to what was really going on. That can be very discouraging because, unfortunately, not everybody wants to hear that. It's not everybody knows it, not everybody believes it. I no longer waste my time talking to most people. For the most part, I can go through an entire day and not say a word. On the rare occasion, you find somebody else that's awake. And the thing is, being awake doesn't mean you have to know everything that's going on. It just means that you know something's not quite right with what is going on. The unfortunate thing is, many Jehovah's Witnesses woke up and left the organization, yet they're still asleep because they're falling for the bullshit on the outside. <clears throat> like I said before, there's a certain depression with seeing through things. It's not a happy experience, and unfortunately, once you wake up to it, there's no turning it off. It's like a faucet that's broken. The information constantly comes into your head, and it can be very wearing. There are many times where I have to go off alone and be totally left alone. I don't want to hear a human voice. I just want to be left be. I've kind of gotten adjusted to that. It was about 
2015 and 2016, I started getting overwhelmed with information. Now, I knew things prior, but they were getting more crystal clear around that point, and still today. And the information that was hitting me was getting so overwhelming. And I always had the urge to try and wake other people up, much like I did when I was at JW. Well, you find out you got to be very select with who you speak to, because like I said, most people don't want to wake up. So, okay, I'm fine with that. That is very trying, especially the people that have to do the research. You have to be careful on that because the thing is, some people will go down every rabbit hole they find and you have to be careful with that because you can be dragged down the wrong rabbit hole. I choose not to do a lot of research today. I did my research, but I do know that things aren't right. I do know things with this country aren't right. Things with this entire world aren't right. That so-called pandemic several years ago, we all know wasn't right. We all know Watchtower isn't right. And that's all we need to know. It's easy enough to expose them because eventually they expose themselves. If you're going through this right now, and if you're awake, and you know something's not right, and you're wondering why you're feeling so depressed, unfortunately, knowing what you're going to find out and what you're already finding out can be a very miserable, miserable experience. It can be very trying, it can be very wearing. And the thing is, you can never go backwards. You will never be able to go to the, be the person you once were. I thought I could, but I'm nowhere near the person I was. I thought I could duplicate the person I was after I left the organization. And unfortunately, that person no longer existed. It was a totally different person that had emerged from that organization, as well as 2010. You may be wondering why you're unhappy and you can't quite put your finger on it, but there's a certain, there's a certain amount of happiness in being ignorant to what's going on for a while. Unfortunately, too many people want to hide their head in the sand just to be happy. But unfortunately, being that way, you're also going to be caught off guard when the shit hits the fan. I know a few people that are going through this now and they can't understand why their life is in such a shambles. Why they are so miserable. They break out in tears for no apparent reason. And the thing is, you try and tell them what's going on. And unfortunately, they have to see it for themselves because they're not going to understand it right away. You may know somebody who's going through it. There's only a few select people that are going to see through the bullshit. And I think as former Jehovah's Witnesses, we realize we can't wake everybody up. Some people just want to stay asleep. Whether they're Jehovah's Witnesses or whether they're out here in the world, there are always going to be people that just don't want to wake up. They don't want their happy life disturbed. The unfortunate, their life is going to be disturbed anyways. Anyways, guys, that was just a quick thought I wanted to get out there. I will talk to you soon. You guys have a good day.